this is working. I don't think this pen right. Good morning. Good morning. I thought you did something. <laughs> oh, I think it writes. Hey, what's up? How y'all doing? <laughs> Brittany, you just gave me four ink pens. <laughs> Thank you, Tanisha, for the weather forecast. It is 62 degrees with a high of 72 in Nashville, Tennessee. Amen. Great morning. How's everybody this morning? Oh, and Smoker said her name was Tanisha Bates, not Oh, okay. Great morning, everyone. Hi, Miss Marianne. How's everybody this morning? Bonita, Adrena, Garnett. Hey. Hey, over here. Cherie White, for real. Good morning, Miss Danielle. Hello. Hi, Miss Carol. Hi, 1908 cutie. Hee, <laughs> hee, why the dream push of life coach? Great morning. Warrior Nation, what's up? Share the video, please. Calliope. Did I get it right? Calliope, I still have not looked. This, I never find your comment that says whether I'm saying your name right or wrong. Good morning, Keisha. Everybody good this morning? I'm excited. We got a brief word today. We're going to be in Exodus 1. We're only going to be in 22. It's brief for real. But I'm excited this morning. Good morning, Scarlett. How's everybody? Hello to everyone. That means everyone. Good morning. Hi, Darcy. Tiz underscore Jackson. What's up from Chicago? That's where my husband is from. Y'all good this morning? Hi, Miss Judy. How you doing? Darcy, Irene, Brian, and Pam. How y'all doing this morning? Oh, I was going to try to say it. I can't say it. All I see is the sugar mama part. Good morning. Patrick on here, Brittany. Hey. hey, Patrick. How you doing? I think Judy gave us the weather forecast, too. Yeah, she said in Southern California, it's 56 degrees with a high of 64. Possible chance of showers extending through Saturday. Wait a minute, there was a song that said it never rains in Southern California. What is going on with that? Was that not the truth? Y'all good this morning? What time is it? I don't have my, we have my iPad, um, Britt. Y'all ready going to pray until God a good is? Hola, Liz. Come and start. How's the fast going, everybody? Day four? Some of y'all are supposed to be fasting, and you're not. Some of y'all was supposed to be on this fast. I'm not calling your names, but they dropped in my spirit this morning. Some of y'all are supposed to be on this fast with us. Y'all watching us fast. Don't be mad now, because you, you had your opportunity to join in. You got to give us something to get something. Okay. Exodus 122 is where we're going to be today. Brittany. Yeah. Brittany? Is it you, Brittany? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all ready? Let's go into prayer. Then I have a very special birthday shout out. Good. 1913 Blade said the fast is going well. How's it going for y'all over here on Facebook? Is it going good? Wonderful, wonderful. All right. Hi, Sadiq. I saw your church last night, but I didn't get a chance to speak. Share the video, y'all. Y'all ready to tell God how good he is? Father, we thank you this morning. It's 559 a.m. Lord, we honor you this morning for your grace, your mercy, and your love. We're just so excited about today. We thank you, Father, that when hell is raging, we will stay focused on you and focus on the promise that you have given us, Lord. We will not be distracted in this season. We thank you this morning, God. You're such a good, good father. Holy Spirit, we thank you for every morning teaching us this word, a fresh word from the throne room. And today, we're so excited. Our ears are itching to hear what will be revealed today through scripture. We're so excited. We're humbled by your dynamic teachings. And we're honored just to be at your feet this morning, God. We worship and adore you. Jesus, we love you. We thank you for the work of the cross. And because of that work of the cross, we have access to our Father and access to eternity. And we thank you for it today. Just thank him, y'all. Tell him how good he is. We thank you for the very air in our lungs today. We honor you for it, God. We're just so excited about what you're doing in this last two months of the year. Lord, I'm just feeling my spirit so deeply and strongly that you're going to do more in these last few weeks than you've done for us all year. And we're excited. And that's why we're pressing in. That's why we're fasting. That's why we're praying. That's why we're getting before you. We're worshiping you, Lord. And we're just excited about what you're going to do. Because one thing we know for sure, if you made us a promise, you will surely bring it to pass. Lord, we thank you for this time together. Please bless it. Please bless every warrior as they tune in this morning, God. Give them a word just for them, tailor-made just for them, how we honor you today. Just tell them how good he is, y'all. Lord, you're good. Lord, you're good. Everything about you is good. It's the essence of who you are. We thank you for your goodness today. We thank you for provision today. We thank you for the supernatural today. We thank you for breakthroughs today. We thank you for divine protection today. Lord, we thank you for blessed moments, happy times today. We just honor you. And today, Lord, we expect miracles. We honor you, Father. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Anybody expecting a miracle today? I am. Oh, good. It said the fast is going amazingly great. Okay, y'all. Let me give you the weather forecast here in Jackson, Mississippi today. It's currently 70. Did y'all hear that? It's November 2nd, and it is 70 degrees with a high of 82. 
<laughs> Sunrise at 7.18 a.m. Sun going down at 6.08 p.m. There's a 20% chance of rain today. It's going to make it hotter, by the way. The winds are coming out of the south at 7 miles per hour. That's our weather forecast. So, you know, like for a couple of days, I didn't get y'all the weather. You know, I didn't give it to y'all. And, you know, I've had people tell me in the past, we don't like your weather forecast. Why you got to tell the weather? You should do it this way and do it this way. But an angel emailed me last night and told me how much she enjoys my weather forecast. She said she's a journalist and she's looking to get back into journaling. And my weather forecast encourages her to get back into journaling. So guess what? I'm back on my A-game as being a wannabe meteorologist. I will be back giving you your weather forecast every day because now I have heard clearly from the Lord. <laughs> I want to give a special birthday shout out today to Sister Shirley Anderson. Sister Shirley, I saw your comment on this morning's post that today's your birthday, that you turned 57 today. May God bless you and keep you and give you more than you can ask or imagine. Y'all, let's give our sister Shirley a blessed, happy birthday warrior shout out this morning. Thank you. I look forward to my weather forecast. And anyone else out there who's celebrating a birthday today, happy, happy birthday. We got a miracle testimony, and it's about a check, too. Hold on, y'all. It's good. Here we go. My husband and I are beyond speechless. We are the same couple that received a miracle check on Monday. Y'all, we need to go to their house. Check this out. My husband and I are beyond speechless. We are the same couple that received a miracle check on Monday. God has outdone himself again. Day three of the fast and a week today that we put our Warrior Nation sticker in our mailbox and we received two miracles today. One, KidStream, our nonprofit, is now participating in the supper program. The children in our enrichment program receives dinner for free, sponsored by Charles County Public Schools. And two, we were awarded a donation from SMECO, our local electric company, in support of KidStream Enrichment Program First Lego League Junior Competition. We are literally in awe, tears of joy, speechless. Thank you, Kelly, Brittany, Thad, Tab, for all you do on the Daily Blaze. Bless, uh oh. Thank you, Kelly, Brittany, Thad, Tab, for all you all do on a daily. And blessings to all the warriors. There was a tongue twist. There was too much Kelly, Thad, Tab. Yeah. But she said, and blessings to all the warriors. So our warrior sister got two blessings. I'm sorry, three in one week. How's the fast going for y'all? I'm telling you, it's the breakthrough fast. I'm telling you, it's the breakthrough fast. Let me say this. Two things. We will really appreciate it if you do not email us and ask us about your miracle throw. We will let you know when it's in. We promise. Like, we are being inundated with emails asking. I know, I know, I know, I know y'all are seeing pictures of people with their miracle throws. But I promise you, as soon as yours gets here, we are shipping it out the door. It is like jamming up the store email to where we can't get to the other things um because when your throw gets here i promise you you're going to know ask the ones who got in their throws they were surprised when they got their throws i promise you we're going to tell you um so with that being said we love you please if you can help and the other thing is please do not send us multiple emails in one day like we have some amazing people who send us like 10 in one day and say didn't you get my email answer me i want a response right now answer me where's my tote where's my shirt and i'm like bless you bless you bless you bless you times 10 but it'll be really great uh if you would exercise patience and give us an opportunity to respond to the first email before you send us like 10 more all right but anyway we love you very much keep fast and keep praying we got a brief word today uh, i'm excited I don't know what Brittany has pen, but y'all, when I tell you warrior apparel, like God giving me this business has taught me patience. <laughs> oh, 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 when people, somebody wrote Brittany said, you need to go to business school. <laughs> Woo, stay focused. Type it in as well, y'all. We're going to stay focused. They said, I'm so gracious. Y'all, I'll tell you, some people email, it's so mean and nasty, y'all. Oh, it's so, and, we, and I just say, God bless you. Because so many of y'all are so precious. And like y'all write and say, you guys, are, even when we jack up your order, you write back and say, you guys are so precious. You're doing a great job. Like, thank you. We need that encouragement. Thank you. Now, that being said, y'all know what's in the store. But let me tell you this. I am so excited about Black Friday. Like, you know, I didn't know what to do. But I got so many surprises for y'all on Black Friday. Y'all are going to be so excited. And we're going to start our Black Friday sale at midnight. We're literally going to be up at midnight filling your orders as they come in. You know I like surprising y'all. I promise you, you are not going to be disappointed. I am so excited. And I'm going to try with all 
but not by my power or my might, but by the spirit of the living God. I'm going to try my best not to tell y'all the secrets too far in advance. Like, I'm about to burst at the seams. Y'all know I could not keep that. Like, how I couldn't hold the socks? I'm not going to tell. My lips are zipped for right now, but you're going to love it. You're going to love Y'all know when I get something excited, I have to tell y'all, but I'm going to try. Huh? You, like, carrying on too much. You're going to let it slip. I'm not going to tell. Brittany told me to shut up. <laughs> Brittany, that wasn't Christian. I didn't say shut up. Shame on you. All right, let's go into the word today, y'all. <laughs> all right, all in fun, all in fun, but you will not be disappointed. Type it in. I'm staying focused. I'm staying focused. I'm staying focused. Y'all ready? It's quick. Exodus 1, 22. I love y'all. To the moon and back. <laughs> and wait till y'all see what we got for y'all on Black Friday. Okay, okay. All right, that's all I'm going to say. Here we go. So we already know. This study is, like, so fun to me. Like, I know I say that about, like, every study. Um, but this one is, like, totally exciting to me. Um, I think because it's prophetic. Because when I wanted to go to the book of Exodus, like, a month ago, um, God... I wasn't led to do it yet. And now it's like God is saying, this is the time because you guys are going somewhere and that he's using me to take us somewhere. And so I feel like it's prophetic to see how Moses brought the children of Israel out and just the, how the whole thing went down and how the enemy tried his best to stop um, the promise being fulfilled. And so, yes, we're going to talk a lot about over and over repetition because the Bible is repeating it. That means it's important. So, you know, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Share the video, Facebook warriors. So, and thank you everybody saying they're going to be buying everything for Christmas for their family. Thank you. I see all the comments. We love you. But check this out. Like, we're going to be talking about this over and over, how the enemy cannot stop the promises of God. So, yes, we're going to talk about it in a different way, but over and over, because that's like the, seems like what I'm seeing is one of the themes for the book of Exodus. Remember, Exodus means mass departure. Remember, as a recap, quickly, that God made Abraham a promise, and it took 430 years for that promise to be fulfilled, but it happened. And it's like, remember, when God makes you a promise, don't check your watch. Just believe and just know that if God told you he's going to do it, he's going to do it. And let me interject here. Charlene Aaron from CBN News. Our sweet Charlene, our prayer link video last week got over 350,000 views. I won't be on there today. Um, they're going to be covering the issue with, with the New York City uh, shootings and, and, and prayers go up for that. But let me just say this quickly. Charlene got employee of the month for October and it is much deserved so a special congratulations to Charlene Aaron with uh, the Christian Broadcasting Network this morning for being the October Employee of the Month she deserves it, she made a way for me which made a way for us, she found me and she listened to the Holy Spirit and if it wasn't for, Char for Charlene I would not be where I am right now and so we want to give a special shout out to Charlene, she's precious she is one of the most amazing people that I know and I cannot think of anyone who deserves Employee of the, she needs Employee of the Universe of the Year, of the Millennium like she is so precious. She's a woman of prayer. She fasts. She's sensitive to the Holy Spirit. She's not just a pretty lady. She has a beautiful spirit and I'm so honored to call her my sister. Uh, and I'm just so thankful. So special birthday, not birthday shout out, but a special shout out to Charlene this morning. Um, congratulations. Y'all give Charlene a congratulations this morning for being employee of the month with the Christian Broadcasting Network. More to come. And I ask that God will do more in her life than she could even ask or imagine. So y'all just speak a blessing over Charlene this morning. She so deserves it. We went through so much with the prayer link. And God is lifting her to a place where people have to just say, you know what? God is with that woman. And it's what we want for ourselves. For God to lift you so high that people have to say, you know what? God is with her. God is with him. Now back to this. Back to Exodus 1 and 22. My whole point was that when God makes you a promise, he will fulfill it. He will make it good. So remember, Pharaoh, on yesterday we learned that Pharaoh told the midwives, to let every little girl baby when she's born live. But if it's a little boy, kill him. Now, I don't know how these midwives were supposed to be murderers. Like, this is what's getting me the most. Is that Pharaoh was telling these sweet little ladies, these little Egyptian ladies, to kill the babies. Like, how? How, how are they supposed to kill these babies? And of course they couldn't do it. Because they feared the Lord more than they feared him. Anybody fear the Lord today? It's like, uh-uh, I'm not doing that. I'll take my chances. I'm, I'm not doing that. I fear the Lord. And so with that, Pharaoh was very upset because they didn't do what he told them to do. So in 22, it's short. Here we go. Then Pharaoh gave this order to all his people because they didn't do it, y'all. He goes, throw every newborn Hebrew boy into the Nile River. But you may let the girls live. Again, Exodus 1, 22, reading from the New Living Translation. Then Pharaoh gave this order to all his people. Throw every newborn Hebrew boy into the Nile River. But you may let the girls live. So here's the thing that I'm still trying to wrap my mind around. The midwives wouldn't do it. So then he gave an order for everyone to do it. And he told them how to do it. He said, take the boys 
and throw them in the Nile River. You know, just telling people to become murderers. Like he, he issued this mass order for anybody who sees a Hebrew baby boy, throw him in the Nile River. And as I was reading this this morning, I know we've been talking about this all week. I want you to know that the enemy is working overtime right now. If you have been plugged in and you are praying and you are fasting with us, you're standing on the word of God, you're worshiping, you're taking God his word, the enemy cannot stand you. And he has all his little imps and minions on alert to try to destroy you. But again, when God makes a promise, it's good. He tried his best, Pharaoh tried his best to stop the multiplication of the Hebrews. But guess what? He could not because it was a promise from the Lord. Anybody got a promise today? Anybody got a promise today? So now, because the midwives wouldn't do it, he's telling everybody to do it. What I get out of this, stay focused. When hell is raging, when hell is raging, stay focused. I got to give an example. So, you know, I called the fast this past week, just out of the blue, but the Lord spoke to my heart and said, do it, do it now. You know, God is the author and finisher of our faith. He knows the end from the beginning. And so when he tells me to fast, I'm not going to take a whole long time debating with him about it. I just go into the fast because God knows our end from the beginning. And there's something he's trying to do or something that we need to do. To we, He knows the end. We don't. So when God tells you to fast, I don't think it's, you shouldn't have a whole lot of conversation about it. You should just do what God tells you to do. And so with that, that was like going to secretly go on a fast. We didn't know about it. She had linked up with another warrior. Mm -hmm. And they were going to fast for their husbands. Because you know, they had to believe in God for a man of God. And the other lady is too. So they, they linked up together. It's so good to have a prayer partner. Brittany and I, Tad, we didn't know nothing about it. They, they sneaking trying to do a fast, y'all. Okay, so they agreed to fast. She, and then she goes, and then here you go. You get right on Facebook and call a fast. Like, we were about to do the fast. And then you call the fast. And she says, the minute... We said, okay, we're going to do this fast. We're just going to join in and do this fast. Thad said everybody she's ever talked to in her lifetime that has her number still has called her or texted her, including her ex-husband. Tell us on what you doing. And my whole point is this. The enemy is trying his best to distract you. Like the minute, it's just like yesterday at work, they were having popcorn out in the atrium and this whole party and all this music. I'm like, what is going on? Because you're on a fast, the enemy's going to try to tempt you. But my whole point is this. You can tell when, like, hell is working overtime to distract you. She said it happened to her. Or try to stop you. Like, how, how Pharaoh is working overtime. Like, literally working overtime. Okay, so, since the midwives wouldn't do it, I'm going to tell everybody to do it. Everybody, you become a murderer so that you can try to thwart the plans of God. And he actually issued this so that everybody would destroy the Hebrew boys. Because when you are pressing in... And you're getting close to your promise. Or when you're walking in your promise, hell is not happy. And so he, will, the enemy will do whatever he can to distract you and stop you from doing what God has called you to do. Y'all, we have to stay focused. It's a simple message. Stay focused. We're going to learn more about this tomorrow and going into the next few weeks. But just for now, stay focused. Do not be distracted because the enemy is after you. But guess what? He's a defeated foe. Right? He is powerless. Let's keep fasting. Let's keep praying. Let's stay in his presence. Let's stay in his word. And like I say, I feel it strongly in my spirit. Some of y'all are making excuses. I can't point you out. There's thousands of you. But there are some people that are able-bodied that have chosen not to do this fast. That's on you. And I'm going to leave it at that. All right. Let's go into prayer. If it is you, and right now your heart is palpitating because you know it's you. Like when the Lord tells you to give a big offering and you're like, oh God, it can't be God. I rebuke you say, all right, if you feel like that this morning and you know I'm talking to you, jump in. It's, look, spill milk. Today is day four. Jump in. That's the word for y'all who was supposed to be fasting, but you decided that it wasn't for you. All right. And if you really can't do it, of course, we understand that. But, you know, that's when you and God. But I just feel it deep down in here. Somebody... It's supposed to be doing this now, and you're not. And Brittany said, when she feels it, you better know. So, let's go into prayer. Ooh, it's deep. Somebody on here is not being compliant. And God has made us a promise for 2017. Don't miss it. Brittany said, mm-hmm. All right. Let's go. And Brittany away with 95 pounds. If Brittany can fast. <laughs> Let's go into prayer. Father, we thank you this morning for your grace, your mercy, your love. Lord, if there's any of us who you're speaking to this morning on a serious note, uh, that we need to join in on this fast and we're able to, Lord, that you've given us clearance to do it. It's not to say, mm-hmm, you should have done it, but no, honestly, in love, join in now. 
Father, we thank you because your grace is it, 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 just there and it's sufficient. And if we missed it or we made excuses, Lord, just help us get into alignment with your will right now. Because I just feel like there's something that you want to do for us. It's a breakthrough on the horizon to the overflow. And Lord, I don't want anybody who's supposed to be a part of this to miss it. So, Father, we thank you this morning for being the God of many, many, many chances. Maybe you missed it. Maybe you messed up. Maybe you ate a donut. Whatever. Lord, we thank you that we can get back on this thing and be focused, Lord. And that we can still receive your promises. So, God, today we thank you for being been the God of many, many, many chances. Lord, we thank you for the hearts that you are speaking to right now to join in on this fast in whatever capacity that you lead them to do it in. And God, we thank you that no weapon for against us shall prosper. Lord, we thank you that even though hell may be raging and trying their best to stop us, we understand that this thing cannot be stopped. There's too much momentum. There's too much intensity. Lord, you are with us. Your hand up us, is upon us and we cannot be stopped. Lord, I ask you now to go before the warrior nation, make every rugged path smooth, every crooked place straight and bring every high place low. I thank you, Father, we're safely out reach of our enemies and no weapon point against us shall prosper god i thank you for blessing us please bless us indeed enlarge our territories grant us favor place your hand upon us and push into the place that you have just for us keep us safe and free from all hurt harm and pain father we honor you as we step out into this world today we are armed and dangerous we wear the full armor your full armor the better truth around our ways the helmet of salvation the breastplate of righteousness lord we're sentence of peace we carry that shield of faith Lord, we take you at your word we believe you we don't need any proof any physical evidence we take you at your word we understand that you are still the god of miracles and lord we care to sort of spirit with your word let your word be hidden in our hearts we will not sin against you you are a good good father y'all tell him how good he is this morning you're so good say i'm staying focused lord i'm staying focused i would not let the enemy stop me i would not let distractions keep me from the promises that you have made me, God. I thank you for this morning. And Lord, always we pray for our sweet Avery and Jordan Strength and Shania and Jahab McMath, Lord, and we call them healed. We thank you, Lord, for our sweet babies, McKinley, Mariah, Grace, Tonto, and Gabriel, Lord. We thank you they are healthy and strong in the earth. And Father, for the lives of Monica and London, we will not forget. And Lord, again, we ask you to just give Regina and her family uh, peace comfort and favor in the courtroom and lord these petitions are coming in warriors whatever you're leaving god to do miracle checks lord we thank you that what you've done for this one family you will do it for us god we thank you for the breakthroughs that are happening right now the victories that are taking place today promotions that are happening today lord i understand that we don't have to wait to the end of the fast you will do things during the fast as you are already doing and lord we thank you for our breakthroughs today we thank you for our overflow today we thank god you're going to do more in these last two months of the year than you have done all year and we just thank you for it lord we're so excited excited about life we expect miracles today we expect the supernatural today we expect supernatural healing today we expect provision today god we expect the overflow today god we thank you for reconciliation today restoration today god peace in our minds lord we thank you today for that favor that only you can give us, Lord. We thank you for it today. We honor you for the emails that will come through today. The good emails, Lord. The great news. The phone calls, God. We thank you for the things we've been praying for and believing you for and fasting for, God, that is happening all over the warrior nation today. That many are receiving the answers to their prayers on this day. Today, Lord, we kick bad habits by the power of your Holy Spirit. We will not take this garbage into the new year, Lord. We thank you. We don't need to lay aside, Lord, to run this race that has been set before us, Lord. We will run it and we will run it with diligence and we shall finish and by the power of your holy spirit we shall finish strong father we honor you every petition lord we thank you that it is answered and lord we thank you right now that you dispatch an angelic assistance to make sure that we receive the help that we need and the answers to our prayers thank you god that we shall never be broke another day in our lives type it in i will never be broke again the struggle is over lord i thank you i thank you that the struggle is over the struggle is over lord we walk into a season of increase god and we thank you lord god that there's a season of increase upon the warrior nation lord we will not lack no good thing oh lord you're so good to us please bless the warrior nation lord and be with us today it is in jesus name that we pray hallelujah to your name father and amen he's good y'all Never again. The struggle is over. I'm telling you, we're going somewhere. Stay with me. We are going somewhere. Have a great day. Ooh, wait till Black Friday. But have a great day. And remember to check out the store. All kinds of things on there. We love you guys so much. Get your miracle shirts, miracle tees, and decals and everything. And we'll check on y'all later on. Have a wonderful day. I love you guys so much. And I need to stand corrected on one thing. Yesterday, how many did we have on Facebook? It was 3.8 on Facebook. You know, we had a glitch in the video, but there were 2,000 on Instagram. So we, yesterday, we had, I said 4,400 live viewers. I'm sorry. We had 6,000. God is amazing. Something we've been praying and fasting for all year is happening. So I love you guys. You are, you are responsible for that, for sharing the videos and spreading the word. Love you so much. He is the God of increase. Have a great day. Thank you, Father God.